Hey guys and welcome to Pro Clockers Reviews. My name is Paulie and we're here to take a look at the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5 from Gigabyte. I want to thank Gigabyte for sending us this board to do a review of and I also want to especially thank Matthew from Gigabyte for giving me this sweet Aorus sweatshirt. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So uh, let's take this board out of the box, take a look at it and go over some of the features of it. First, we're going to go over the accessories that come with the motherboard. You got a multilingual installation guide, the user manual, as well as the driver disc, which you all know you can just get these off their website as well. I actually really, really like Gigabyte's IO shields. They're really pretty and shiny. So, IO shield, SATA cables, the G connector, which really makes putting on the front panel connector is easier. Velcro straps for cable management. Labels for cables. I love these. These are a great, great feature. I wish more people did those. They come with temperature sensors. Awesome feature. The RGBW cable extension for LED strips. High bandwidth SLI bridge. And my favorite thing that comes with every motherboard. My favorite thing that comes with every motherboard, case batch. All right, so here we have the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5 from Gigabyte. It is a beautiful motherboard with a six plus four phase power delivery system. It supports all Ryzen 7 and will support upcoming Ryzen 3, 5, and their upcoming APUs. Uh, it has support for dual channel ECC and non-ECC unbuffered DDR4 4 DIMMs up to 64 gigs. There is front USB 3.0 support. There are two headers for up to four USB front 3.0 ports. Um, has RGB lighting. Has seven RGB zones. One is this swappable overlay. You can pop this off and put a different design. You can even 3D print them. It has RGB lighting in and around the power delivery system. There's one right here on the side, little plastic piece. There are RGB lighting zones under the first two PCI slots and under the chipset. There are LED headers here and an RGBW header here. It comes with an RGBW extension, so any of the RGB Fusion compatible LED strips can get plugged in here. There are nine temperature sensors on this board as well as eight hybrid fan sensors with smart fan 5 support um, the hybrid headers can be either pumps or fans it has PCIe gen 4 x3 support for m.2 as well as u.2 there is a single m.2 some slot and it has support for 2242 2260 2280 22110 size m.2s um, I believe this board comes in X2 mode, so you have to go into the BIOS and switch it to X4. Speaking of BIOS, this is a dual UEFI BIOS board. There's two BIOS chips there, and the BIOS switches over here. It has front audio. Front panel connectors are right here. And some of the fans, there's more fans over here. There's a couple of front USB 2 headers as well. Um, the, a lot of cases are moving away from the front USB 2, but these are still good for like the Corsair power supplies that require a USB. Um, some of the Corsair coolers to use their software require a front USB 2, so it's good to still see those there. I know more people will be moving away from them, but I still like to have them. There's a power switch and an auto OC switch over here. It has 8 pin connector, 24 pin connector. So here's the rear I.O. of this motherboard. It has a PS2 port for legacy keyboards and mice. It has six USB 3.1 Gen 1, um, two of which are USB DAC up 2. Has three USB 3.1 Gen 2 uh, Type A and one Type C. Dual Gigabit LAN, one is Intel Gigabit LAN, the other one is the Killer E2500 Gaming Network LAN. Uh, the onboard audio is excellent, has dual ALC 1220 120 decibel surround HD audio with dual smart headphone amps and support for Sound, Bla uh, Sound Blaster X5 MB5. It has support for 2, 4, 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound and support for SPDIF out. 
All right, there you have it, guys. This has been our unboxing and overview of the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5 from Gigabyte. You can see the full written review of that, as well as the R7-1800X coming soon to ProClockers.com. You can also come back here to see the full video review of this board, as well as the 1800X, here on Pro Clockers Reviews. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But please, tell us what we can do better. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Polly from Pro Clockers Review signing out.